Hey guys, welcome back to Heart of the Batter. Now you know that it is fall when there is pumpkin spice everything everywhere, especially pumpkin spice lattes. You either love them or you hate them. Me personally, I love them. I absolutely adore them. They're delicious, they're creamy, they make me feel warm, there's a little bit of cinnamon, it's just perfect. I think it's one of the perfect fall drinks. And what we're gonna do today is a pumpkin spice latte mug cake. And guess how we're making it? In the microwave, music to my ears. You ready for this? Let's go. I love pumpkin spice lattes, so much so that a certain coffee chain sent me a pumpkin spice latte mug with pumpkin spice latte everything. It was the greatest moment of that fall for me. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to put the mug cake all together. I'm gonna start with the wet ingredients and right here we've got, I think about two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. And the good thing is, is with this mug cake is you can use whatever leftover pumpkin that you have from all the great baking that you've done before, the week before, whenever it was. We always have some leftover pumpkin, right? And you can make this mug cake. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. We're gonna do one egg. Hold on, if I can get it cracked. Doo -doo -doo. We are gonna do two tablespoons of almond milk. I'm really excited about this recipe because I can actually try it today. Eee! Two tablespoons, all right. And then you have your vanilla extract. Quarter teaspoon baking powder. And then we're gonna put in half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Now if you don't have pumpkin spice, Spy pies? Oh my goodness, my brain. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice <laughs> in your cabinet, you can use cinnamon, ginger, clove, allspice, and nutmeg, a little bit of nutmeg, and you can put that together, and then you have your pumpkin pie spice. Just a pinch of salt. Doo -doo 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 -doo. A quarter cup of all-purpose flour, and then two I like to say heaping tablespoons of brown sugar. <laughs> Boom, you have your mix. Now we're gonna mix all together. This cake could be a ton of fun to do with your friends. Like if you have people staying over and somebody just really wants a, some cake but you don't wanna go through the huge mess of getting everything out in all the pots and pans, this is what you wanna go to. And also for kids too, this could be something fun to make during the fall. You can add a whole bunch of different things to it if you'd like. You could probably do this with sweet potato too, and that would be really good. Okay, so let's just make sure it's mixed well so you don't have any extra like flour sitting at the bottom or anything like that. It smells delicious. All right, now you're gonna take your mug, make sure that it is microwave safe. You don't wanna put a mug in there and it to explode or crack, especially if it's something that's a family heirloom. Just make sure whatever you're using is microwave safe. The cake is gonna crawl up the sides of the mug. This is like one of those things that you put together, you're not really looking for it to be like the most pristine cake or to fall out of the mug or anything. Like you're just gonna eat that thing and it's gonna be delicious and a little bit messy. Yee. Now we're going to put this in the mug. Boop. Look at that. It smells like fall in here. I am going to be putting this in the microwave for mm, a minute and 30 seconds. You can come with me too. Come on. Okay. All right, little mug cake. Do your thing. A minute 30. All right. Okay. So I'm actually gonna stand here and talk to you about this mug cake, actually what it was inspired by. So when I was on tour a couple of years ago, I really was craving some cupcakes and tour buses don't have ovens for very good safety reasons. And I decided to put my batter of box mix cupcakes inside an Nalgene bottle and microwave it. And guess what happened? It went everywhere. I opened up that microwave and it was insanely covered in all the red velvet batter, but I did eat what was in the Nalgene. It was delicious. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. 
And as far as pumpkin spice goes, it's actually one of my favorites. I really, really love drinking a pumpkin spice latte. The cool thing about this one is we actually did it with almond milk, as you saw, and we're going to put some delicious dairy-free ice cream on top of it, so I'll actually get to taste it this time. I'm really happy about that too, because I really miss actually getting to eat some. I want to look at it. A little lopsided, but that's okay. That's all right. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at it. It looks so cool. Doesn't matter if it's lopsided or not, it's gonna taste good when you eat it. So the cool thing is, is it kind of rises like a souffle, except this, we're gonna take out and eat it instead of like having to just leave it in there, leave it in there, leave it in there. We have five seconds left and it'll be done. It's gonna be delicious. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh, it fell already. Hold on, let me get it fast. Da -da -da -da, mug cake. Oh. Let's go eat it. I have to eat it right now. Oh, it's gonna be good. So again, this is something that you can eat late at night if you're feeling it. Actually, you can eat it at any time because it's that easy to make and that quick to make. And it also doesn't have to be pumpkin spice. You can put whatever you want in a mug cake like this. I'm sure you'll have to adjust depending on what you use, but experiment, it's fun and it's little cleanup. So that's the good thing. All right, so now we are going to add, oh, la la la, delicious ice cream on top. A nice little dollop. Yeah. And then for the adults, I'm gonna pour a little bit of espresso on top. Whoop. Like an affogato, but not an affinato. <laughs> oh, I need a spoon so I can try this. Or should I use a fork? Hmm. So again, what I got to use in this mug cake today is I used almond milk and I used dairy-free ice cream because I was like, I really have to dive into this and plus I really wanted to try it. So I am going to try this in front of you guys. Hallelujah! Okay. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> That's so good. You guys. Okay, it's getting all over my hands and I'm not mad at it at all. But it's delicious. Did you see how quick that was? All right guys, please make sure to let me know of any other microwavable desserts that you guys come up with. Let me know in the comments and please make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next week on Heart of the Batter. See you later.